All right, assignment time. I want your textures and I want your pieces. And I'm going to have to show you how to package something a little bit smarter. So we're going to look at packaging this. So I'll be able to give it to an asset manager or something like that. Uh, this is a very handy little workflow. So what I have is the atypical student has made a huge freaking mess on their hard drive. Video warehouse. Look at it. I just I did the same thing most students did. I just plopped it all in the one folder. Okay, let's show you how to make this so it's nice. First off, I'm going to delete this one. Okay, good. All right, what I have is a new folder on my desktop called Jason Welsh Ware. Okay, for warehouse. And what I'm going to do is highlight all my pieces and make sure a plugin is on, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager, make sure OBJ Export is on. With all the pieces highlighted, I go File, Export Selection, go to the desktop, choose the folder that's empty right now. This can be called anything and make sure material is checked on. When I export selection, it'll take my dirty scene and move it over to a folder and clean it up for me. So now only the textures and materials that I'm using are in there and none of the other ones. So if you have some ones hanging out here, um, another thing you might want to consider, if you have like a bunch of textures that you're not using, you can go optimize scene size and hit OK and then I'm just deleting these and going back and re-exporting them. So just remember if you did, if, if you even were messier than what I thought, uh, you can always clean it up that way. Okay, and that should translate them all, good. All right, now let's also set a project and we're going to set it to that new folder. Hit set, create default workspace, and then save the scene as into that same folder. Hit continue. Now the one thing I have to do is resource um, my textures to an absolute instead of this. So look at right here I have this stuff going on. Okay, C drive users, blah, 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 blah. Notice it says video warehouse. Okay, I like going in manually, but here's a little trick. Um, first off, now that all this is saved, just close out of Maya. And we won't we don't want Maya to see the old directory. So what I do is go down to Video Warehouse and put an underscore one there. You can put anything that you want, but that's a good way to do it. Um, and you can see it's open in another program certainly Photoshop probably has a few of these laying around so make sure you save anything and everything at this point they should have PSDs after them for the productions if you don't have that you didn't save it right okay in this case I just hit no 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 and then I should I should be able to rename this now and keep doing it until you get everything closed out and everything is not being pulled into that. So. Alright, now I should be able to do it.
there. Okay, sweet. All right, now that's done. Let's go into the new one and reload it. This should pull the materials and the texture from the folder rather than the old folder. Cross your fingers. Perfect. So to make sure that that worked out well, you can go to textures. You should be able to see the icons are all broke. That's fine. Uh, just double click on them. But down below, notice it has the absolute directory not C drive, program files, my hard drive, peanut butter sandwich. It has like just the TGA. This is the correct way to repair um, or clean up a project. So in this case, don't save anything. Just close this out and then you can take and zip this up. So if you go to the desktop, you should be able to right click on this and send it to a zip folder. Now these are 2048 maps. So if if you have a lot of these, look at 106 megs. So that's what your project should be too, about 100 megs. If you have problems uploading that, there's another way you could do this. Um, there's a video that I have on my YouTube site, but just in case, I'm going to show you how to do it here also. I installed a program called WinRAR, and you can say add to archive. WinRAR is free, just go to Google and type WinRAR, and I think it's rarlabs.com. You can say add to archive, and you can say split the volume. Well, I could split the volume, here's a megabyte, right? How about it, since it's one or 100 megs right now, let's say it's 50 megs. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that should be one, two, three. Yep, that should be 50 megs. Um, in this case, I'll just leave it right here and hit RAR or zip. Doesn't really matter, I use both. So as a student, either one will work. And what this will do is it'll split your project in half. And then you can upload the two halves. So that's for students that have slow connections to the internet. Make sure you only do it by at least two, not five, not 10. Please don't make it broken up into so many. If you're doing it that way, uh, it's a stupid workflow. So right there, these two files get uploaded. They're only 48 megs. Alright, so that is a complete breakdown of cleaning up a project, packaging it, and then packaging it for worst case scenario, slow connection to the internet. Enjoy. And your assignment is as follows. You just have to turn in those pieces, all textured, to the submission area. Have a good one. See you to the next unit.